so this is my redmi note 10 and i have installed dove fist android 13 based custom room over it so if you know about what's the performance getting in this room so you can watch the video until the last and let us see what is pros and cons so regarding this custom room i have been making videos such a long time and i have been thinking over what is the new way to consider this room so i have been firstly talking about the in hand look and feel so this room is super cool it feels so smooth because if you can see that the opening closing animation of this room is quite simple and few fluent everything opens flawlessly as compared to any other custom room so you can see this i have been faced on a note not a single issue in this custom room and what do you say if it's my personal what do you, uh, daily driver I can use this room because I am too much satisfied with this custom room. Apart from that, I would like also to talk about what the benchmarks that we are getting in this custom room and what not. So let us first start with the 3D Mark application. I have been through this application much of time because it provides a better scores and which kind of performance that we are getting from GPU. For the GPU scores. I have also ran that slingshot extreme test and you can surprise to see that it scored overall 1458 which is pretty impressive score in comparison with another custom rooms. Yeah, there is few being custom rooms which is quite smooth but it is also been smooth. Here's why which I can tell in the later part of the video. And this is the wildlife extreme test test. In this video, uh, in this what do you say, test the device getting hotter but because of there is cold in there. I haven't faced much of the heating because of the cold, I already told. And the, here in this test, you get a stability of 97.9 percentile. And those who are asking about the, is there any QS lag, you can see that there is not a QS lag over there. And I have, haven't faced any much of the issues. Apart from 3D Mark application, I do consider some applications like Antutu Benchmark. And I have also ran that application. And here is the score, which pretty much good because it scores to like 81,511 which is quite smooth in terms of what do you see a custom ROM because in MIUI you generally getting 260 approx but in this test it provides a better much scores and one thing I would let you know that every time the benchmark scores doesn't make ROM faster smoother and usable so it doesn't matter but quite of a viewers wants to show that so I am showing these things to you all Apart from that, I also run what you say CPU throttling test, which I want to share it from what you say screenshots because that doesn't stay as well. And apart from that, I got a run for 15 minutes and you are quite to see that it scores 94% to its max performance, which is throttled. And the max GIPS is 157 and minimum is 121, 541. It has been already run for 100 threads for 15 minutes. After all, I also checked out what do you say, these safety net status. The safety net status feels so good because it passes and you can't get any of the issues. For those who are asking me about Netflix L1 certification, yeah, there is L1 certification, but in this room, you are not getting HDR capabilities in the Netflix because there is aren't a spoofing of your device available in this room quite and after all, I have checked all the things and in my use cases, everything feels super smooth and quite a bit. No issues that jerk I have found so ever. And talking about the batteries, first of all, let me help you to go to the settings. I am talking about battery. The battery is quite smoother in ways of performing the device. I would like to share about my battery usage and here isn't a battery usage mentioned because I have just deleted that data. In the AccuBattery application, I would like to share about the last sessions. And you can see that it is being today almost it is being charged for 10 minutes, uh, not 10 minutes, sorry, 18 minutes from 10 to 48 percent at its 38 percent of battery is gained. And after that, I used for 42 minutes. You, I also used for 18, 18 hours. And the battery is quite smooth in my usage cases. So if you are a heavy gamer or what do you say, because I don't play games, so I can't tell about more that. But after all, uh, in my use case of normal YouTube videos and editing videos because of my laptop is 
dead and I can't edit videos on that so it's pretty impressive for my battery usage case. After all, I would really want to help getting help from you all because I want to tell that please subscribe bros because we have only 563 subscribers and the content that I am providing you is very very in terms you can your mind also says that yeah you're, he's getting too much best content from what he can give to you uh, to us so please one subscribe and one like is being important from your all sides after all i would like to show about the in hand feel and ui of this room so first of all i would like to share about uh, is there any bugs in network internet setting no there is a bug in any network internet settings the internet i am using the wi-fi currently right now and the wi-fi strength is too good i would give five stars out of five and the I am using both Geo and Airtel SIM, no issues I have faced. If you ask me about the Wi-Fi hotspot, I have also checked for Wi-Fi hotspot. If I enable, it will not getting automatically disabled. So yeah, this is quite a few working. No, many ROMs have these issues, but it is now getting fixed. And this is the game space option. If you use that, you can use, but I don't generally recommend because I have checked that the game space getting a, whenever I use it from, what do you say? Benchmarks performance purpose it is not so good. So yeah, it's not performing as well as good and What I about to talk about sign sound and vibration you get the me sound enhancer which feels awesome while you music listens music and When it is plugged through earphone not Bluetooth is working. Here is also get the media controller and the volume panel is on left side uh, If I generally enable this you can see that it is on left side so you can see that and the volume steps also is been there if you click on additional settings no up, such a huge thing has been mentioned over there apart from the display everything seems to be same here's a device cutout is been there when you can do check out that things according to yours in the security purpose you get the face and fingerprint both and this were working all around fine and in terms of privacy i would like to share that please don't always use your location if you are if your some apps is using your location then you can enable that for that instance but after all please disable that i am recommending all time in the custom rooms please always don't use your location after all if you go in the settings you get that languages and input in the app languages you can see that there is an option of app language and you can select on the chrome which type of language you want and the spotify which language you want these were the supported apps that is working fine if you click on the gestures you get the gesture navigation above here and this is quite smooth that it all the setting is frequently working all around so you can do check this out according to your usage yes and guys one thing i want to note that uh, i'll be making a pixel experience android 13 based latest release for redmi note 10 or what do you say mojito so if you are interested in that video then i will do it after two days so do check out that video too and this is the op all options given over there and this is quite a way working in the usb option you can now select without going to developer options file transfer is working and here's a dub fest updater is been there and now you can check out your updates from here and lastly in the thermal profiles i would like to share that the thermal profiles isn't performing is also good i don't know why but many rooms have this issue that thermal profiles doesn't feel so what do you say performing in this devices so you can't expect and if i talk about the what do you say jerk or lag i have generally opened my tu uh, twitter application and you can see that there isn't a bug and lag stutters i haven't found in the 60 hertz of display and you can see that the opening closing everything application works quite simpler and smoother and due, it is because of due to i would like to share about that it is because of i think and this is based on kernel and here you can see that the strict inline kernel is used and see linux status is enforcing here we are getting android security update of 5th january and if you click on the change log you get that change log option and here's the recovery has been changed so you can see that and it is tango update for mojito but because it's uh, it is an unofficial build i would like to share that so it doesn't know feels that official and official doesn't want only the room has to be good one to check out and i what is the installation steps i would like to share the installation steps could be so similar because you need to just unlock your bootloader 
flash the TWRP. I have already made a video about that. You can check out the installation steps playlist right down in the comment. Uh, what do you say? Description box. After all, you can flash this ROM with any TWRP or Lineage OS based recoveries. It is done, no issues, and you just need to do format data. And what I recommend this ROM is not is yes. I would highly recommend this ROM to you all. You can use this. The battery is so good. The banking apps is still working fine in this ROM. And yeah, if you have a lot of money in your bank account, I would not going to suggest this. But if you are normal user and gamer and little amount of money has been in your bank account, you can do check out this ROM. I would only tell that if you have lots of money in account, please don't use any of the custom ROMs. Only use officially based custom ROM. So this is all my for my review and let's see what's the next pixel experience video comes out about its performance so thanks for watching my videos if you're really sustained in this video and liked it then please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content so my name is arav i'm signing you off we'll meet in the next video till then bye bye